Good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're in Luke chapter 22, and today, verse 55 through 62. Now, when they had kindled a fire in the midst of the courtyard and sat down together, Peter sat among them. And a certain servant girl, seeing him as he sat by the fire, looked intently at him and said, This man was also with him. But he denied him, saying, Woman, I do not know him. And after a little while, another saw him and said, You also are of them. But Peter said, Man, I am not. Then, after about an hour had passed, another confidently affirmed, saying, Surely this fellow was also with him, for he is a Galilean. But Peter said, Man, I do not know what you are saying. Immediately while he was still speaking, the rooster crowed. And the Lord turned and looked at Peter. Then Peter remembered the word of the Lord, how he had said to him, Before the rooster crows, you will deny me three times. So Peter went out and wept bitterly. So here's Peter. He follows Jesus. They're taking him aside there. They're questioning him. They're torturing him. They're, you know, they're, they're uh, doing their thing. Peter is within, obviously within eyesight. It's dark. But it wasn't so dark that Peter couldn't be seen. And so they saw, this guy's a Galilean. He must be one of those uh, guys, those weirdos that's following Jesus. And so, yeah, they keep asking him about that. And he keeps denying it. And finally, we saw what happened. While he was still speaking, while he was still speaking, after he denied him three times, while he was still speaking, the, uh, the bird sets off. And Peter suddenly recognizes that, oh, what Jesus said has come true. I have denied him. Jesus looks at him. Peter went out and wept bitterly. This was actually the best day of Peter's life, although it was also the worst. Why? Well, because he turned around and, and he went out and he wept bitterly. He had experienced a true repentance. And so many times for us, you know, we're just so engaged in, in this and that, thoroughly messed up and, and tuned into the world that before we can get on our knees and do anything repenting, you know, the phone beeps, a sound goes off. And so, as you're praying, as you're having quiet time with the Lord, you can turn that off so that you don't get a notification, you don't get a distraction. While you're tuning up and being with Jesus, uh, make sure you have opportunity to go out and weep bitterly without interruption, as we see in verse 62. Let's pray. Hey, Father in heaven, we're coming to you in prayer. We're recognizing that we have all have a need for the deepest repentance and sometimes the, the world will, everything will go off in the world in just such a way to distract us or keep us from going deep with Jesus. Please help us, Lord, so that uh, we surrender all and we follow and we give, we give everything to you and that nothing holds us back, Lord. Nothing holds us back from the mercies and love you will give us. Nothing would hold us back from being bold livers of your truth so that others will see and think on these things themselves and be turned toward heaven. Help us, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Friend, I hope that if God, when God gives you the opportunity, the gift of, of deep repentance, you'll be able to be available to him to repent, to go out and weep bitterly and be fully turned to him.